Hello everyone, George Kenner. If you just purchased the X-Tool D1 laser and you're looking for some settings to be able to engrave or etch glass, this may be the video for you. Now, first thing you're gonna find is you need to paint or coat the glass with some type of material. If not, the laser will just bounce right through the glass and have no effect. One material that's out there that people talk about is tempura paint. I tried this, I coated it, I couldn't see any light holding through the glass when it holded it up to the sun, but still I didn't get a consistent finish. I'd had black streaks that were in the frosting of the etch that I had left behind. So I, I wanted to try what was probably a little harder one to do, which is cold galvanized. Now this is not Rust-Oleum brand, but it has the same zinc percentage content, I think it's 92%. What I would do is I just, as lightly as I could, paint the glass and then hold it up to the sun to see if I could see any light coming through. As soon as there was no light, then I knew I at least had a consistent finish. I took this over and I, to the laser and I tried to get the result that I was looking for trying to different settings. I couldn't get really what I wanted to to get in results. Sometimes the etching would turn out black. It looked like black paint. Now that may be effective for some project, but I was really looking for something that was frosted. So I took and I slowed the rate down to 12 millimeters. I went to the materials list. I went to stainless steel and put it at 100% power. This is what I ended up with. What I found was that um, as it got a little hotter, it seemed as though the material was starting to finish as though it was a paint peeling away from the glass. And when I looked at it cl more closely, what it was was part of the glass had burned away. So I had to take something like this or a razor blade and just pull the glass away from the edges. It came out fantastic. I, I really love this. If the glass gets cold and sweaty, you've got a good grip on it. This is more like sandpaper than it is a smooth or silky finish from a traditional system. One of the things you wanna do, and I, I figured this out, what I, I did was, because this has to go into the roller that comes with the machine, I wanted to keep this level. So what I did was I went over to my, my CNC machine, and I did the math, I cut this out, and this will go through a level. However, it will kind of buckle a little bit as you're turning because this is even a little bigger glass than that roller is designed for. Now there is another roller system that Xtool just released, and I'll put a picture of it and a link to it down in the description. There'll be links for everything in the description. And I think that may be the resolve, the better way to go to make sure that your laser is even. But if your laser is tilted as this is tilted, because you've got that angle, you're not gonna get the result that you'd like. So this was the way that I overcame it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, now may be the time to do it. I try and give as many tips and tricks as quickly as I possibly can, and then just talk generally about what goes on in my shop. So I went back over to the CNC, and I decided what I'd do is I would cut myself a little jig template to be able to put these in. I took a few bolts, put them into the honeycomb of the laser bed, and this will just slide in and out. All I have to do is put another one in, I'm set. Uh, no more centering, I can leave the laser exactly the same and it's a much faster production run. And the, I think they were about 55 cents a piece on Amazon. It's kind of a cool little gift to be able to do this, especially if you know how to center at once and make a whole bunch of them the exact same way. I wish all of the best. I hope you subscribe, give me a thumbs up and I'll keep this kind of content going. Oh, by the way, I think if you're into CNC's, I think Stepcraft just came out with a new line called the D series that will perform very, very much like the M series with just a slightly lower bed. You may want to give that give that a look. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I only share what I'm doing and those little things that I find in the industry that I think would appeal to you. All the best.